Hello YouTubers! Today we're gonna see uh, insides or the guts of this guy here. Speedway. I removed the 12 screws. Oh, by the way, here. <laughs> I tried to put it yesterday, but actually uh, you have to put it from this side, not from this side. That's why I couldn't make it this way. You hold it like this makes more sense than to hold it from the other side. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we want to see how the inside of this guy looks like. I removed these 12 screws and of course the ground cable is connected to the uh, to the body outside the shell and I'm gonna make marking here. I'm gonna make marking here I guess here then we're gonna see how that works because I already put it all the way in according to this that's the the lower right 40 amps so yeah increase you you have to move it here so basically it's gonna take some time but that's it right to increase you're gonna move uh, core out I mean shunt of the core and that's a simple mechanism how it works I love this because it's just a pure transformer no electronic parts no inverter type it's very heavy but it's a, it's basically just a pure transformer that's indicator and that's gonna go all the way to the maximum actually increase the current by pulling the shunt out of the core of the transformer I was thinking it's a different but no it's not okay that's about the maximum it goes so yeah let's make another mark here so that should be difference between this here so that's the basically thickness of the of the core so all the way in all the way out so it's supposed to be 75 amps or maximum power it has on off of course has overheat protection and it's simple 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 stupid design so 220 comes here and goes here and goes on the primary winding and on the secondary winding you have of course less but the thicker wires and that wire goes here and here on the other side from the secondary directly into the secondary coil or the working clamp or the electrode holder and this guy here so that's it that's how it looks like I love it it's small it's heavy it's simple <laughs> and it uses one of the simplest uh, classical uh, transformer power without using electronics whatsoever any kind of uh, inverters or nothing that's it now you know how it looks like from the inside I still didn't try it out because I'm still working in the basement on my project adding 22 220 volts uh, outlet for electric car and for the welder okay thanks for watching bye bye